Welcome back to the betting exchange. It is time to play my favorite game, The Big Bet Theory. I'm asking questions along the spectrum of sports and betting. You get the question right, you get points. You get the question wrong, your opponent has a chance to steal. And whoever wins this competition gets to give us their New York Shore shot, their local team lock for the evening. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. I'm ready for Katie, redemption. Katie, Katie, listen, we need you tonight, all right? Let me help Let's you out. go. Let me help you out. We're on to question one, worth 150 points. The New York Jets and Giants are both sitting at 0 and 3 to start the season. And they're both sitting at the bottom of league for projected wins. Based on the current odds, who is favored to win more games? All right, Katie. Sorry to do this to you, but it's the Giants at four and a half. It is the Giants at 150 points, four and a half wins. Let's overachieve, shall we? <laughs> Alex, how many wins would you predict the Giants to win before week 17? Whew. Well, <laughs> under that, that number, their projection is four and a half. So I'm, I, I would take the under. And right now, actually, that's plus money. So when you look at both the Giants and the Jets and their win totals, you can get plus money for the unders. And even though, you know, it's a long season, it's tough to find wins when you look at their schedule. So I think there's a lot of value under right now for them. Well, let's make sure it isn't tough for you to find a win, Eric, because the next question is worth 200 points. We're switching from the pros to the college ranks. Nick Saban and number one Alabama face off against former offensive coordinator Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss on Saturday. In a matchup of this much hype, what is the projected over under for this matchup? Eric, what you got? Ooh, it's a big one. I'm going with 80 points. Ah, 80 points. That is incorrect. 85. 85? No, oh. the answer right now is 79 points. Alex, let me ask you a question. Do you think Old Miss has a chance to cover the 14 and a half point spread against their SEC rival? Absolutely, Old Miss can cover this number. This is their Super Bowl. They're coming off a bye. That's an offense that's averaging 53 points per game. I think the pressure's on Alabama to keep up with, with Old Miss in this one. So I definitely would, uh, would take the points in Old Miss in this one. Wow. All right. I, it sounds like it's going to be a, a major points. event. And yeah. we need one of you to take the next set, the next set of points, all right? <laughs> we got it. We got it. Now, question number three. We're three weeks into the NFL season. Some of the faces that we missed from last season are already making an impact. Out of these comeback players, who is favored right now to take home the NFL's comeback player of the year? Dak Prescott, a guy we talk about. <laughs> that, was yeah, that, was, that was kind of a layup. 250 I, I, I points. Can tell where yeah, you're going with you gotta it. you gotta rope that in. She's cooking right now. All right, Alex, let me ask you a question. Saquon, he started off the season at second place at plus 700 odds, but he slipped all the way down to eighth at plus 2,000. Would you bet Saquon with your wallet right now? With my money? <laughs> not with mine. No, Absolutely no. not. Uh, there, there's, listen, there's no chance. Uh, nothing against Saquon. He's, he's obviously a, a great running back, an elite running back. But you can't bet on this Giants offensive line. They are terrible. He only has 134 rushing yards through three games this season. There are games in the past where he's had more than 134 rushing yards. There's no way I'm touching Saquon. No way. Uh, I hear you. I hope he still comes back strong. But you're going to have to touch these questions right now. We're going to touch 250 points right now. We're going to Major League Baseball. All right? The American League wildcard race is tighter than it's ever been. With only four games left, there is a possibility of a four-way tie. Wow. Four-way tie between the Yankees, Red Sox, Blue Jays, and Mariners. What would the record have to be for all these teams to have to finish to, for this tie break to occur? For this four-way tie to occur? Uh... It's a little math involved. I'll give you a hint. They would win 90 games. Okay, when so would it, it would be 90 and? 90 and? and who's going who's gonna to flip? Who's going to flip? Who's going to flip? Why is it so hard for me? Uh, Eric. Wait, they play 162 games. I can't tell you that. So, you should know this. 72. 90 and 72. 90 and 72. That's it. And we're doing math and probability on the betting exchange. Right. Yeah. So, Alex, the Blue Jays and Mariners, they're the only teams with positive money into, that's marked to make the playoffs. In such a close playoff race like this, is there still value with those teams, or do you think the window is closed? 
I think there's some value with the Blue Jays. They have a real shot here. Big game tonight against the Yankees, and then they have a series against the Orioles. I mean, they're they're right on the Yankees' tails. And then you look at the Yankees, they have to play this game, and then they have to turn around and play the Rays, who've already clinched, you know, everything that they're looking to achieve. But the Rays aren't going to le- just let the Yankees win this thing. So I think the Blue Jays have a real shot. I hear you on that. And Eric, you kind of let Katie win this thing. Katie has come back and got her New York Shore shot. Win of the Big Hit Theory. She's going to give the New York Shore shot. And we are going to come back. You celebrate and you get ready for the portfolio. We're getting in our bag, so you get your bag. Betting Exchange will be right back.